Hello again and welcome back to Super Mario All-Star as well as Super Mario Brothers 3. So we finally made it through the grassland, now we're in the desert land, or sand land, I don't really know what it is. But as you can see I'm now small again because of my save, I have to start over. But luckily I still have the super wing, which is actually the tanuki suit with the unlimited power of flying. So with that out of the way, let's continue on with our journey to rescue the princess again. So as you can see, I can just fly around. And I gotta be careful because there are small Goombas that are hiding in these blocks. I could just fly around like this if I want to. Just taking my time. And hold up. There we go. Another secret area. And then we get all these coins and move on. Ah, missed it. I don't want to draw any more attention with these fire things, so let's move on. And already we got the star call card. We're just going to skip the game for now and continue on with the second part. And of course I've lost the super power to fly. And it's pretty simple. I gotta just jump on the blocks. And already it's a pretty easy level, real quick. And I already got another star card. So now we're in the second castle of the mini boss. And this is the part that I remember when I was playing the original one on the old Nintendo that I could never get through. Just wait for this guy to move out of the way. Because of the boos right here. Every time you turn around, they'll chase you. Well, the trick is just look at them so they won't follow you. And we made it. Okay, just climbing up without getting hurt. And we're done. That was quick. And as you can see that thing is already broken so now we can get through here. Let's just go inside this and pick up what we can get. Another mushroom, never mind. Let me just see what's in this pipe. So it's basically the same thing. Let me try using my star power on this guy. Oh, 
Oh, we got a music box. We'll just use that later. I'll just show you how it works. And of course we got these flame things again. Mm-hmm. Very simple. And what do you know? I can hit them with my tail. And I got my star power again. Oh, there's a secret. Uh, let me see if I can try to get up there. Troopers, so let's just wait until they let me get through here. There we go. Okay, let's move on. And this is what I'm talking about in my last video. Get all three cards match, you get five lives. Okay. Why do I have the feeling that this is gonna be a trap? Might as well take my chances. Now oh, I remember this. The sun over there on the upper left is going to chase you. And we got ourselves the whirlwind. Ah, come on. Let me just dodge this. There we go. And the sun is going to attack you now. Just simply try jumping over it so it won't touch you. That's impossible for a sun to go at that distance because if it just goes down, it's just gonna be nighttime. All right, let me show you what the music box do. Ah, press the wrong button. So basically the music box makes an enemy fall asleep so I can get thrown without fighting it. Let me just go inside this to see what we have. Hope it's something useful. Oh good, a tanuki leaf. The enemy is still sleeping, so let's just move on. There's a secret over there, so let me get up there. There it is. And let me just take a little swim, especially in this desert heat. Mm -mm -mm. 
interesting. Okay, let me see. Oh. Let me get up there. Well, that was quick. Of course, I lost my leaf. That's fine. And we got ourselves the pyramid level, what it appears to look like. Hmm. We're going to go inside here. out. Thank you very much. I needed that. area. Come on. There we go. What do you know? We already made it to the end of the area. You know what, just for the heck of it, let me play level 5. Ooh, there's a chain shop. I haven't seen those in... nearly in some of the previous game. The only thing I can remember it from is Yoshi's Island. Don't want to aggravate it, just ignore them and you'll be fine. of this beanstalk. I was trying to find one in the first game. And we found itself the secret area as well. Yeah, right. I don't think we're gonna find the block to turn these into coins. Already we're done with this part. Very simple. And let's play with these card games. It's basically the same. What do you know? I already got one right. Now let's play another. Yeah, it's supposed to be a previous one. It doesn't really matter if I save it or not. It's just going to be the same. Oh, lucky me. 
Well, at least that's good enough. Done deal. And we got ourselves the hammer. What this thing does, hold up. I'm just gonna save that. Because what the hammer does is it breaks some of the bricks or area that helps you get through another location that you're trying to get to. I basically did that on purpose. But yeah, the hammers, I'm gonna be saving that for later. I'm not gonna touch it. Since we already completed the entire area, let's go see what the king's up to in here. Oh, it's terrible. The king has been transformed. And so basically, it's just gonna say the same thing. And the same routine, we're gonna have to save, find the one to turn him back. So it's just basically the same routine. All right. And just to give an idea, hold up. I purposely died just to show you something. So if you die in this area, the ship will fly away in a different location. Let me see what the Toad has to say, or it's just going to be the same thing. Hurry, hurry, get the magic wand back from little Koopa. Okay, I will. And that's the wrong location. So let's start over again. Again, I was just trying to show you with the example of the ship, just to give you an idea. And let's not do that again. And I did remember this part going through when I'm... It just takes me in the wrong location. And I kind of died. Somewhere around here. It was in this part, I remember. Real long time ago. And we got one of those Koopa thing that looks like gerbils show throwing hammers. Well, not hammers, but wrench. And we made it to the final at the end, excuse me. So let's do this. Very simple. I think that his name is M Morton or Norton. I don't know. Whatever. But I got the magic wand. Very simple. So now let's go back to the castle and give this to the king in Desert Land. Oh heavens, thanks, or something. I'm back to my old self again. Thanks so much. Here's a letter from the princess. I got that mixed up. You can stomp on your enemies using Kuribu's shoe. So basically, Kuribu is a item you can use to jump on enemies without getting hurt. And that cloud thing over there is also a new item. So now we're in world three, and it looks like we're gonna have to call it quits for today, so that was a pretty quick video. So thank you for watching this. If there's anything you like about this content, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. That will be helpful. So until then, I will see you again in the next video.